Hey guys, again the person here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to remotely play any console on your PC. So basically, obviously you're going to need a console to play on. So this can be literally any console, but it can't be any handheld consoles. The first main thing you're going to need is a capture card. So you're going to want to have a HD capture card. You can have a standard definition capture card, but it won't be as good. You're going to want to have a capture card that's responsive so that you can play through the capture card feed. So there won't be any lag between you and the video stream. And you're going to want to have a remote desktop software. So anything that you can see your desktop with. So I'm going to be using Steam in this one, but you can have another one if you know how to do that. But I'm going to go over it in Steam. Also, you're going to need a wireless controller. You won't be able to do this with a wired controller because this method is limited by the range of your wireless controller. And lastly, you're going to need fast internet. So um, if you're not sure how fast your internet is, it doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and try this and see if it works. And if it works, then that's good. If it doesn't, then unfortunately, your internet probably isn't as fast as it should be. And finally, the last requirement you're going to need is another computer. Also, if you don't have any of these requirements, go ahead and get those requirements before you start the video. If you don't want to get the requirements, then you could just leave the video. And if you want to leave a dislike, you can. I don't really care. So yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. So firstly, I'm going to be talking about what you're going to have to do on the main PC, not the PC or laptop that you're going to be streaming to. So for this, I'm going to be using an Xbox 360. So the first thing you want to do is connect your capture card to your console. And in this case, my Xbox 360. And once that's done, then we can head over to the PC. Okay, so once you're on your PC, you're going to want to open up your browser. And we're going to download some programs here. So I'm going to type in OBS download, which is the capture card software that I'm going to be using. But if you know your original capture card software, then you can use that. I'm going to download OBS. And this is the studio version of OBS, but I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using the OBS Classic which is the one that I'm currently using at the moment. So what you're gonna wanna do is download the installer by clicking download installer. And as you can see, it comes up here and you're gonna wanna save it and run it after you've saved it. But I've already got OBS, as you can see on the screen right now, I already have it installed, so I don't need to download it again and install it again. The second program you're gonna wanna download is Steam. So you're gonna wanna type in Steam download and click the first one. And as you can see, it says, welcome to Steam, install Steam now. So you're going to want to click that, download it and run the setup. And while that's going on, you might as well make an account by clicking login and join Steam because you're going to need an account for this. And I already have an account and I already have Steam, so I don't need to continue on with this. So once you have Steam installed, you're going to want to open it up and sign in. And once you open it up, you're going to want to go to library. It's at the top over here. Unfortunately, you can't see it, but it is here and it should be right at the top. And you're going to want to go to games and as you can see it's at the bottom here on the bottom left it says add a game. You want to click add a game and add a non-steam game. So now in this list of programs your capture card software might show up but if it doesn't don't worry you can just click browse and then browse to the location of your capture card software. I'm going to be using OBS and I already have it ready so I don't need to do it again but if you have the shortcut on your desktop you can also select that and it will come up in here. And you just click add selected programs, you check the box and add selected programs, or it might do it automatically, I'm not sure, but it will add selected program. And once that's done, it will close out and your program should be in the list of games. So as you can see over here, I got OBS VCE, which means that it's ready to go on to the next step. Alright, so what you're going to want to do now is open up your OBS software or your capture card software, but I'm going to be using OBS for this example. And as you can see, here's OBS. And at the beginning, you would see nothing in this software it will be completely blank. Nothing will be in these boxes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is right click this box in scenes and click add scene. And mine is going to be named scene seven. Click that. And once you do that, you're going to want to go to sources then right click in the box, click add, then click video capture device. And as you can see, it says video capture device. You can rename it if you want from this device box. You're going to want to select your capture card name so i'm going to be using time leak hd capture card and click ok once that's done you're going to want to preview the stream so that you know everything's working and you're going to want to turn on your console to see the preview of your console as you can see here here's the console that i have on okay and once you see your console screen you're going to want to edit the scene so that it's full screen so that it covers the whole black box area so you're going to want to click edit scene click the video capture device and you can stretch it to however you want so hold alt down to crop 
which I'm going to do now because I have black bars on the side and hold shift to stretch it and that's exactly what I did uh, or you could just drag the corners like normal and it would do it automatically but I'm not doing that and once that's done it, you can click edit scene again which would deactivate the edit scene and you should be ready but I'm, I've got my other scene ready already <laughs> ready already and it should be over here and this is the perfect cropping for me and as you can see it's full screen and everything there's nothing on the screen there's no black bars or anything so I'm going to be using this scene and once that's done your OBS should be set up already and once that's set up you can just click stop preview and close out the application once you've closed out of the application you want to go back to steam and click OBS VCE and once you click OBS VCE click play and it should open it up again just allow the permissions click yes and click preview stream again and once that's done it should show the preview of your console my console's not on at the moment let me turn it on and once it's on you're going to want to go to preview i mean you want to go to full screen preview mode and as you can see the game is now in full screen so you can use this and that should be all right for now we can go and continue on to the next step now these steps are for the secondary computer or the secondary laptop so this is what you're going to have to do on the laptop that you're going to be streaming to so firstly you're going to want to install steam on the secondary laptop so i already went over that so you should be able to do that by installing steam and then you're going to want to log into your account and then go to obs vce and there should be a button saying stream click stream and you should be into your game console and as you can see here's a bit of gameplay of me playing mgs2 hd collection so as you can see it works pretty well and the better your internet connection the better this will be obviously but as you can see it's working pretty well i was able to play even one handedly while streaming it so that's pretty cool also this has sound as well but i didn't record sound in the video unfortunately so if you managed to complete this tutorial and it worked please leave a like on the video and that will help me out so much and it will prove that it's not clickbait and it's actually real also leave a comment saying this worked for you if it worked for you also comment if you have any questions for me or if you need some help i reply to as much comments as i can also share this with others that might find this useful and subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos on my channel it will be greatly appreciated so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on my next video slash stream goodbye